Plaintiffs Erica Ross and her mother, Heather Ducree, say Erica met the defendant in college, and she thought they were good friends. However, Erica claims the defendant turned out to be unreliable and untrustworthy, and they're suing her today for a loan and pain and suffering. Defendant Cara Wade says Erica was extremely possessive of her and acted more like a girlfriend than a friend. Cara claims she once went to Erica's home and she answered the door naked. And Cara's countersuing because the plaintiffs harassed her and threatened her with voodoo. Start with you. Okay, Yanner, I met Cara back in 2010. Um, we attended the same community college back in our local neighborhood in Minnesota. Um, I really thought that she was somebody I could trust, um, but after... What part of Minnesota? Uh, Brooklyn Park, Minnesota. Where? Brooklyn Park, Minnesota. Brooklyn Park. Liz, where's that? You know where that is? <laughs> you know, I'm not sure you didn't... Huh? I think it's near Minneapolis. Oh, you born and raised there, unless you tricking my son. <laughs> Samia's girlfriend. Oh, all right. She's <laughs> telling us she's from Minnesota. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we got, I got to run a check on you. Yeah, right. <laughs> Go ahead, so. Okay, so I really thought that she was someone that I could trust. Um, however, I guess, you know, after all this, I don't really know her as well as I thought I knew her. Um, you know, she had confided in me about her history, you know, her past and stuff like that, you know. Good just, things? Um, you know, some good things, you know, she did mention at some point, you know, she was like a drug user, she smoked weed at but some point. But she overcame it. Yeah, that is correct. So, you know, I really thought that, you know, she was a good person overall. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, since then she's proven herself to be unworthy, you know, unreliable and irresponsible just based on the fact that, um, you know, she borrowed this money and now at this point she's refusing to repay okay. what she's borrowed. We'll get to the specifics there. Okay. Um, you want to give me some background, ma'am? Um, yeah, I did meet Erica in college and I thought she, she was nice. Um, we had an age difference. I'm like 10 years older than she is. So at first I thought it was gonna, I thought her seeing her as a little sister. And it, just the thing about it is she just got kind of possessive. Why I ended the relationship? Because she would call my house like every five minutes she would pop at my house. Relationship as in you all were dating or something? You know, I felt that we were dating. You can't Be tell? I, I <laughs> no, I couldn't because okay, I thought we were. Let me give you a little insight. Yeah. If a person said, let's go on a date, or they try to kiss you, <laughs> or they want to hold your hand, or they say, I like you, let's go places together. No, no it was. I thought we were just friends, it's just as so far as just hanging out. But the way she treated me, for example, when I came over to her house, she opens the door naked. And I'm like, okay, Erica, I Never thought you were supposed to, you? to be ready. <laughs> me, me. I wish it did. Yeah. <laughs> not bad. I'm What's like, your address? <laughs> for Dora, for Dora, not for me, for Dora. I, I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> Go ahead. So I'm like, Erica, I thought you were supposed to be ready. She was. Oh. <laughs> well, I don't believe that. I don't, I, we're just having fun. I don't believe that. But go ahead. And by the way, ladies do that. They're friendly ladies. They get undressed with each other, I believe. Your Honor, no? I was in no way naked at the well, time. Girls go and stay in the same hotel when they go on trips and they disrobe in front of each other? No? That's only in the movies. Right. What the movies you watch? Go ahead, uh, ma'am. So, so what did you she say? opens the door and I'm like, Erica, why are you not dressed? Why are you coming to the door like that? Oh, I thought it was she tried to play it off. Oh, I thought you were the mailman. So, I mean, that really made me feel uncomfortable. Like, okay, what kind of relationship is this, you know? Do you really believe no, I'm about to open really. my door butt tough. naked? I know she's tough. No, you know, I, I did not do that. Can I have a word? Yes, ma'am. This girl is telling a lot of lies and you're dangerous with what you are saying. My daughter would never want to be in a relationship with you. Who are you? Okay. Well, yes, ma'am. You else? wasn't there when she came, so. Ma'am, don't do debate you know? with her mother now. She seemed like Kyra. she might be. You complain that Erica Mom, never be on time. She's, that was your complaint. Mom, she seemed like she's a hot tempered. You better leave say, her alone. To go out with Please. Erica, you said Erica 
never been on time. And I yes, know Erica has that issue. But saying, Erica, take her clothes off in front of you, you're a notorious liar. Okay. I'd leave her alone if I went <laughs> <laughs> Well, you that. know, this is the type of... This is the type of stuff that I've, I have to go through with them. Anything else before we get back to the loan? Yeah, I, you know, I had to end up calling the police on her. Tell me about the loan. Your Honor, on December 11th of 2012, Ms. Wade called me and asked whether or not I would be willing to borrow her $400. At the time, I didn't have $400 to borrow her, Your Honor. So she goes, well, would your mom be willing to borrow me $400? I said to her, you know, honestly, I'm not sure, but I can definitely speak to my mom and see what she has to say about it. You know, I knew at the time she was going through a financial crisis. She was behind on her rent. She was behind on her car payment. She was behind on her insurance. She was behind on just about everything. So my mom, being a single mom, you know, being the person that she is, she has a really good heart. She said, what does Kara need the money for? I kind of just explained to her, you know, why she needed the, you know, needed the funds. And she goes, well, when is Kyra going to be able to repay me? And I had spoke to Kyra, and she goes, well, I would repay your mom when I got my loan reimbursement, which would be at the end of January. Loan reimbursement. Yes. For Student loan. Yes, sir. <laughs> New viewers should know. Two ways you won't get paid. If a person tells you they're going to pay you when they get their student loan money, mm -hmm. you're not getting it. If a person said they're going to pay you when they get their income tax, you're not getting it. <laughs> so those two things, if you hear them, run the other way. Okay. All right. So she told you student loan. Yes, yeah, she said she was going to repay when she got her, her loan reimbursement money mm -hmm. at the end of January. So, you know, my mom was like, okay, you know, I'll go ahead and borrow her the money. Um, and she did. Since then, Your Honor, Kyra has been dipping and dodging us ever since then. She's made no attempt to want to repay the money. At one point, we had to show up over to her place. We get over there, she lives in a duplex, a side by side, and her cousin's outside. And she goes, yeah, yeah, they're, uh, they're out at uh, the Hinkley Casino for the weekend or whatever. Mm -hmm. So at this point, my mom goes, well, they're at the casino for the weekend and she can't reimburse me my $400. You know, I, there seems to be a problem with that. So even after that, we never saw her. Tell me the pain and suffering. Well, the fact that at the time when we first initially contacted her, we had a death in our family. We wanted to go as a family. My mom, myself, and my son, we lived together. And unfortunately, we couldn't fly out with my son because of the fact that she didn't repay the loan that she said she was going to repay on time. Um, and she signed a note? She did sign a Can note. I see it, please. Ma'am, what do you say? They came over my house, and I had to call the police on them. They were banging at my door. They were banging on the window, throwing stuff at my window from the front okay. to the I back. Got, to we'll get to that. Before we get to the harassment claim okay. that you're uh, suing for, counter suing for, tell me about what they're suing you for. Um, the loan, I did mm -hmm. ask um, Erica's mother mm -hmm. if I can borrow $400 because it was, my car was behind. Mm -hmm. What was the agreement? I, the agreement was that I told her that when I get the money, I will pay her the $400. Your Honor, who... Quiet. When you get what money? Quiet. So why haven't you paid her? Um, I tried to pay her. I have Texas here. No, you, what happened when you tried to pay her? She didn't show up. Oh, okay. Well, she's here today. Yeah. <laughs> will you take the money? Yes, sure. sir. There you go. That's $400, <laughs> everything. <laughs> That's your defense, isn't that what you said? No, that's not my defense. My defense is that, you know, they said she wanted my, my, she wanted my checks garnished. She wanted me to take me to court, and I really feel that they're here trying to get more money than what What's was your owed. defense to not repaying a loan? My defense was, is that they, I just felt they didn't want any part, part they didn't want any payment plan. Well, this is a clear sign that they do. <laughs> okay. When you get sued, that means but they I want feel... their money. Okay. <laughs> but I feel that they... Ma'am, let's move the account of claim. Harassment, okay. how do they owe you? Okay, they... When harassment is when they, instead of coming over politely, they came over my house. They were without being, calling? Without calling. They were banging on my door, screaming at my doorway. My three children were there. Um, they were s screaming, talk, threatening me, talking about they were going to beat me up. They were going to put voodoo on me. 
Voodoo. Voodoo. <laughs> that has never been said. Voodoo. You said, I'm from St. Thomas. We're up from another uh, country. I will put voodoo on you. You didn't say <laughs> and, that? And you still messing with the woman? <laughs> no, I didn't mess with her. This is, this is after. Yeah, y'all want, you gonna have to go out there and mess with her. I don't wanna, <laughs> I don't wanna get hit by mistake. Let me hear from you all about the harassment. Your Honor, after so many contacts, so many phone calls, so many not, ref not returning any of our phone calls, Your Honor, at this point Were we have- Were they calling you repeatedly? No, they only called me a couple times oh. and I called them back. Anyone have evidence of the calls? Your Honor, I have, I have the call. There's no way I you have can have evidence of all the texts that I've tried to contact her to pay the money back I see it. Can I say something? Yes. When I came back from Philadelphia, I tried to contact Kyra on the 17th of February. Kyra answered me and said to me, I have company. I will get back to you. I said, really? When I gave you my money, I did not have company. What is it to take few, few minutes out of your time to speak to me? She said, OK, is this your phone number? I said, yes. She said, well, I'll get back to you. And Judge Mattis, it was Monday, no phone call, Sunday, Tuesday, I got down to my daughter. I said, you put me into this predicament with this person. I said, you know what I need you to do? Take me to Kyra's house. And I did went there. I rang Kyra's doorbell. There was no answer. And Kyra played like she was not there. So when I realized Kyra in there and she's not opening, I walked to the back of the door and I sprung on her door. Kyra opened the door. This is Heather. I came for my $400. And that's what happened. We had never harassed you, Kyra. That's you know? harassment, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> Tough lady, ma'am. You can't go to a person's house and then walk to the back door after you ring the bell. They don't answer the doorbell. Then you go in the back, no, honor, peek in their windows, then start smacking the door. You're in no. there. I know you're in there. <laughs> she yeah, was talking that, smack man. from on the outside of the, from on the inside. Erica, no, it wasn't. Yes, yeah, she was. No. From the inside, but no. she, but the problem was is not. your mom was on the outside <laughs> on her property, well, banging on her door. Well, ma'am, you can't do that. Me. You get the address, and then you do exactly what you've done today. Mm -hmm. You sue her. Yep. Yeah, I understand. How did that cause me. you uh, any distress? Um, the harassment. Did just, you call the police? Did you feel under I, threat? I did call the police. Okay. Yeah. I don't know here, ma'am. She called the police. What happened when the police came? Did they speak with her later? They Dispatch did. They told, they told her if she comes back there that uh, she will be arrested. Well, I'm going to say something. That's why you did it. Not paying us that the police could come and you file a claim against Ma'am, talk to me. I can't let you talk to the other litigant. I gave you a little leeway because, quite frankly, I'm a little scared of you, but <laughs> <laughs> I just can't let you keep doing it. Um, this is clear case of harassment, ma'am. I'll grant you um, $200, but I am going to grant the $400 she owes and then $200 for the pain and suffering you all had to endure as a result of the position she put you guys in, which uh, caused you to suffer. You. Therefore, I'll grant you yours for $600 and yours for $200, leaving Thank you all you, with Judge four. Have a good day. Thank, Thank you. For the I wanted to pay you guys back, and you guys made such a big Kyra, deal about it. Kyra, it would never escalate this way if you had just said I could not reach out to you. I did to tell you. you guys that. No, you did not. Wow. It would have never It's over you as long as I don't have okay? any more friendships. I don't need your crazy. friendship. I don't well, that's need okay. Your I, I wasn't you your never your friend. friend. I was her Well, friend. she don't need your friendship. That's neither. okay. 